What's up guys, Mr. Slin here with another competitive TF2 video. And today I want to give you five tips that any aspiring shoulder... <laughs> What's up guys, Mr. Slin here with another video about competitive Team Fortress 2. Today I want to give you five tips that you can use to get better at Soldier. The first thing you need to understand about Soldier though before I go into the tips is that you have two important currencies. Two things that you need to focus on very intently if you want to be good at Soldier. Number one is how many rockets you have loaded. Soldiers reload their rockets very slowly. And then the second thing you want to understand is that soldiers rely very heavily on their health pool because health equals mobility. The more health you have, not only are you staying alive, but you can use that health to rocket jump around the map. So in the spirit of conserving your health, the very first thing that I recommend is that you should use the gunboats. The gunboats reduce the amount of damage that you take on your own rocket jumps by a very significant amount so significant that it's almost essential that you use these gunboats if you want to play at a high level of TF2. If you're playing casually, go ahead, have fun, use whatever you want to use. But if you're actually playing at a high level of the game, you need to use the gunboats. I use the gunboats on every single one of my loadouts. It's so, so powerful right now. And one alternative that you could consider using is the base jumper because it lets you spin around in the air. And so when you're rocket jumping, if someone's trying to hit you midair for an air shot, you can just spin around and dodge that. So that can conserve your health in that sense. But the gunboats are just generally a well-rounded uh, secondary that you can use in any situation and you're going to be good and you're going to be glad that you chose them. So definitely use those gunboats that conserves your health. Second tip, you're going to want to abuse health packs. There's a lot of health packs scattered around the map. You need to know where those health packs are and you need to grab those all the time. There's only a couple different classes where health packs are truly effective and the higher your health pool is, the more effective it is to give the health packs to those types of classes. Heavy is obviously the most effective because it is the biggest, bulkiest class, but the second most highest health pool in class in Team Fortress is the soldier with 200 health and you're going to want to grab those health packs all the time. Um, it's Just think of those health packs as yours. They just got your name written all over them. And as you jump around the map, you're going to want to grab more and more of those health packs. Number three, you're going to want to abuse the choke points. And luckily for you, those health packs are usually located near a choke point. But you have to understand that the choke points have another very significant pur uh, purpose. As a soldier, your job is area denial. Uh, if you notice, if you're ever a soldier in a wide open space, you actually have a very difficult time controlling large amounts of area because when you spam the rocket, the rocket's relatively slow moving and it does less damage the farther you are away. So when you're spamming rockets across the map at somebody, it really doesn't do anything to them. It just kind of like gives them a little nice tickle and then they kind of just go on their merry way. They don't really care. Um, so when you're playing soldier, it's more impactful for you to play at a choke point somewhere, usually with a cover over your head. Uh, so like indoors, there's usually a health pack there. I imagine like house on Badlands or saw on uh, snake water, these areas where you can just sit there, you're just denying this choke point. And not only do your rockets juggle players up in the air and have really good crowd control, but with the splash damage, it's virtually impossible to walk through that choke point without getting hit by the rockets. And so you can use two or three of those rockets, get people out of there, or just finish off kills very, very easily. As long as you're just camping those choke points, um, nothing is really going to be able to push you. Whereas like when you're playing in these wide open areas, uh, those are more suited to scouts that can control that area. Or if you're going to be spamming long range rockets, you might as well just be playing uh, sniper instead because that'll just do a way better job of controlling that wide area. My fourth tip is that you're going to want to conserve your ammo. So remember in the beginning of the video, I talked about how your health and your ammo are both very important. The soldier reloads very slowly. And so you're going to want to conserve every single rocket in the clip. Another way to rephrase this fourth tip instead of, uh, you know, watching your rockets or watching your ammo count, another way to say it is just don't miss. Like, please, for the love of God, don't miss when you're playing soldier because every single rocket counts. Uh, imagine someone has a health pool of 125 and your rockets do, let's say, 80 to 100 damage. You need at least two rockets to kill somebody. That's half of your ammo supply right there. Um, it's, it's not the same luxury that a heavy has who never has to reload or I guess heavy pyro or sniper never have to reload. And then scout uh, has six shots and you only need two to kill somebody. So it's very forgiving in that sense. Soldier is not as forgiving. Every single rocket counts, especially when you use those rockets to rocket jump out of there. So if things go wrong. If things go uh, south, you need to be able to rocket jump out. So that's already three of your rockets claimed. And if someone's buffed, you're going to need that fourth rocket there. So all of your rockets count. And uh, a lot of times what I recommend is that uh, you just chip shot people and just hit them for like 40, 60 damage rockets from 
uh, a decent distance, something that keeps you safe and just keep reloading. And that brings me to my final tip, which is that you need to always keep one rocket in the chamber. Uh, obviously rules are made to be broken, so you can use that fourth rocket at times, but having one rocket in the chamber at all times guarantees that if something goes wrong, you can just rocket jump out of there. And there are very few classes in the game that can chase you down uh, if you can just rocket jump around a corner. Sniper might be able to, to grab you from range. Uh, Demo man might have a sticky placed, a sticky trap placed, or they might be able to snipe you with a pill or a sticky from range. Uh, there's like, but if you can successfully jump away, uh, pretty much no one else is going to be able to pursue you. So having that rocket keeps you alive. And the longer you stay alive, the more damage you're going to do, which is very important. That's why conserving your health, that's why we're using the gunboats, using those health packs, and then keeping one rocket loaded will keep you alive uh, a lot longer than if you just always expend that rocket. And you never really know what's going to pop out around the corner and surprise you. So having that rocket there as some sort of security, as some sort of safety is very, very nice to have. Um, and of course, you're going to be using it sometimes as a finisher to use that fourth rocket. But uh, just a, as a general rule, conserve your rockets and try and keep one in the chamber. So I hope this video helps you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, for those of you guys out there who are brand new to Soldier watching this video and you're kind of realizing that, hey, I actually don't know how to rocket jump please learn how to rocket jump because that's actually a very important class mechanic. If you can learn to rocket jump, that'll make you just like significantly better than anyone else out there. Um, and it takes a, a d decent investment of time to learn how to rocket jump properly. But once you learn how to do it, it's like riding a bike, you'll never forget. And it's very useful to have. So anyways, let me, guys, let me know if you guys have any other questions about Soldier in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Peace.